Hello and welcome to Dearest Watch Club and I wanted to give you a quick update and I wanted to tell you that um, I'm wearing this Invicta um, 42mm on a Jubilee um, pretty much daily now. I had it on this um, fossil uh, leather strap 22mm that I had from my fossil watch. Um, and the fossil watch I strapped up with a Fulminosa band, which is very comfortable. Um, it changed the look of the watch a bit, but I like it. And I wanted to make this video to tell you um, a couple of things. Uh, first of all, um, this I have a six inch wrist and you might say, oh Dario, this is too big on your wrist. But, well, I kind of own it for now um, because I've seen um, a channel who has the watch repair channel and um, there is one on a Rolex GMT which looks kind of like this only that this has like this uh, gold rim on the bezel and and the gold on the Jubilee and that's and the, um, the Rolex GMT is like a classic one just um, Pepsi bezel with a silver bracelet and a silver um, bezel and crown and um, it looks pretty much the same and the grandfather um, seems to me he has a bigger wrist uh, than me but it is a bigger watch like um, it's not a 38 it's not a 40 it's a 42 and um, it's okay like it looks also big on his wrist and I realized if grandpa can wear a bigger watch, I can too. And then I'm working out, who knows, maybe my wrist will grow a few millimeters here and there. I just wanted to say uh, the clasp opens up now pretty fine still. Um, what can you say? Like uh, I was raging about this clasp, but it's very comfortable. Like um, the Jubilee wears really great it's a great experience to own one um, on the hand it looks very good um, and when I'm wearing this it's it's pretty blingy pretty pretty loud like it's not the same understatement that then if you're wearing one of these but it's okay um, I can carry it and I enjoy the loom even though some people say it's not the best, but it's good enough. And I enjoy the bezel and I enjoy the watch as a whole. So um, the Invicta, pretty cool. So then um, the Fossil watch, I wear this one also. I like it because um, Loom is not so great, but I love the Hulk on this one. And I have to say, if you can see, um, like the indices, you call them, are a bit bigger on the fossil and also the markers and when it's night like the loom is not so great on this one it's a bit better on the Invicta but sometimes on the Invicta it's hard to read because like the indices are so small and um, it's very very slim it's a bit uh, better on the Casio the indices and the loom applied is a bit bigger so we'll see what I get in the future um, and yeah, pretty happy with this watch. Um, I like it very much. I wear it now with this band. And this one is like my new Casio F91. It's my um, F105 and F92. Of course, it has no loom, but it's kind of my tranquility watch. It's the unpretentious watch. It's the watch I'm wearing when I'm taking a morning walk. Um, it got a scratch here, I don't know if you can see it, and it was my fault, I, um, it fell, it fell on the ground while I was walking, because I was uh, changing, I was taking this from my wrist and putting on it on my backpack, backpack. but um, no scratches here, like it fell a meter or something on the ground. Uh, in the woods and as you can see great watch um, so then I got myself like this six watch watch case and I didn't 
get it bigger because I thought, man, it's okay to have like six watches here. So here's the watch of my father, uh, the automatic watch, which I wear occasionally um, when I feel like it, but I couldn't restore it right away. Here is my fossil watch. Um, I put it on my Frankenstein um, band because the, um, the clasp was making dance here on the ground so I, I, I put it on the strap so that it didn't um, ruin this watch case and as you know I had a few digital watches there was here the Casio the, the silver one um, I had the gold one I had the F91 um, and I had um, F105 and the um, W86 and I sold them. I sold my digital watches um, and I kind of restrict, I, I mean right there I have like my SKME and right there I have um, this Dragon Slayer um, but they're on sale because I'm not wearing them as much. I think I might keep this one as my last and um, only Casio um, but I'm not wearing them anymore and so I sold them off I don't want to be a watch collector with a million watches as you can see like um, this is my watch rotation and that's it and um, it's okay I sold them off they um, on eBay and they went away pretty fast I pulled that money into watch straps and other watches and I might look into an Invicta or in a um, Rolex style homage watch that has maybe a better loom or better indices um, but that has all time like there's no rush and here is my fossil watch band which was on this watch which fell apart and um, I wrote fossil and fossil replaced it and I have now a replacement band, but I think I think um, that this watch straps um, this one this one's called the keeper, and here on the inside, mm, I think maybe in this production line, although this is a very comfortable band and costs around um, 50 bucks here, uh, 50 euros, um, might be fabricated a bit too. Um, how would you say too gentle for the daily use and after a while this will just be um, torn apart um, I have here this bison strap um, although this is a bit crude it is definitely it holds up very well and then I have this uh, Fulmosa watch band which is very very comfortable I got it for 20 euros um, very sturdy as you can see I don't know how good the quality is maybe it's not so high quality but again 20 euros um, it looks great and the only thing is um, that the keeper sometimes it's it's a millimeter maybe too loose but it does the job so pretty happy I wanted to share this um, and maybe um, to say maybe it's good to not have a million watches um, and reduce to self to to just a few watches you wear um, maybe six maybe less and that's that is okay to sell off all the watches because I was wearing the gold watch and man the gold um, watch uh, in this style illuminator was so long one of my staples but uh, this kind of replaced it I like it now a bit more heavier um, I like the indices and I didn't resonate as much with these digital watches anymore so I sold them off I wasn't wearing them so it's okay to Feng Shui I mean this watch will always stay with me it's my father's watch and it's pretty old and um, yeah so that's the state right now I don't want to increase it I definitely want to snipe some new watches um, I'm intrigued by that but there's no rush there's patience um, there is no greed there's just like um, kind of the thrill of the hunt 
and having something better and special but no rush selling off stuff that you don't need and i want to say that i'm really much appreciating this right now appreciate what you have if it's cool if it's not cool sell it off get yourself something good and um yeah i kind of made my peace with the collection i have right now and maybe you should too so i hope this uh, video gave you some cool knowledge or information uh, which you can apply to. Um, let me know in the comments down below if you're interested in me talking about different stuff. And yeah, I wish you a great day. See ya.